question now is where's the other Mars Jenny? I hope I didn't miss it. I'm trying to keep everybody relatively uh, equal in terms of Jenny count. Gaia, by the way. Gaia, Mother Gaia, Grand Gaia, I think is what it's called. That whole line is fun. Level 18, Gallant. So wait, what's north then? North, northeast! North, northeast! Wouldn't it be funny if there was a Jenny here in this, uh, on this little island right here? The entire team is basically asleep now. I believe they wake up in between battles. Mm. It might be above us. Sleepy, sleepy. So I think the... No, that leads to something. There's gotta be something here. sworn there was a Mars Jenny in one of these little uh, bushes. Maybe I'm wrong. You know what? It might be closer to, uh, what was it, Bilibin? Not Bilibin. Whatever that big town that has the, the Coliseum at. No, that's a Jupiter. Okay, I don't remember anymore. I'm trying to act like I remember where these things are. And to a, to a certain degree, I do. Alright, well, we're just going to assume it's not here anymore. That way, later, when we come back for it, we can kick ourselves because it, it was here. We got the Venus one at least, right? So I'd say we plussed at least a little bit. Oh, maybe it's inside the town. It might be in here. Calais, that's what this place is called. It might be in here. Yep, I think it's like up here. Um, let's also put mine read back on. Yep. It's in here. And I think we get it for free too. I don't think we have to fight it. has even amount of Jenny and all is right with the world. Hmm. So 
against Planet Diver, Growth, Mad Growth, Blast, Nova, and Haunt. She just gets drenched in prism. Wow, that's lame. I don't. Even, I don't even think there was ever a point to mixing and matching the uh, mix, and, mix and matching the uh, Jenny until like the second one. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Oh, but that gate's not open yet. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I went the wrong way. I think this side is locked too, right? Yep. Sometimes it's in the right to have a variety to use. I, you know, I may do that. I don't know. I feel, I just really, I really like a lot of the moves they get by having, uh, you know, pure their specific type. A lot of them tend to be really fun. I'm checking the jars when I can just usually literally do reveal. All right, the next ad is in 36 seconds. Arctic Blade, Elven Blade, Frost Wand. Well, I have quite a bit. Uh, that increases my stats by 17, 18 points. Uh, for her, it increases it by 13. I don't want to give that to her. All right, ads in three seconds. See you guys in a minute. For those of you who are still remaining, what's up? We have about a minute of uh, ad, minute and a half of ad time. Uh, so we have a little bit of time to talk. It's about. 356 now, so I'll probably be streaming for about another half an hour, probably around 4.30-ish. Um, I will get off probably around 4.30-ish, 5 o'clock, uh, so that I can take over baby duty um, and allow my wife to do whatever it is she feels like doing. Um, as always, thank you all for joining me um, in the stream. It's always, been a, it's always a pleasure streaming for you lovely people. Um, we will, of course, continue this um, in the weeks to come. So it was a Thursday, Friday, we'll be doing more Golden Sun. Um, Saturday, we'll probably be a mixture of Golden Sun and potentially something else. Um, I haven't quite figured out exactly what it is we are going to do. It's going to be between Mario Kart, Mario Party. We may even throw Smash back into the ring. I kind of stopped playing the game because we were getting hyper sweats inside the, the queue and it was annoying. You know those players that when you aren't playing optimally, they start ragging on you for not playing optimally. You're like, I'm just trying to have fun, man. What the heck, man? Get out of my lobby. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody that... Uh, was stuck in Apocalypse. Hope you guys enjoyed the ad. You're now back though, so let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Uh, I don't want to sell that rod because I'm going to see if Ivy can hold it. Oh, 
Okay, he can. There's still a boost for him. Alright, let's sell the rapier. Let's sell the ring, too. We can't use it anymore. It's damaged, so maybe 400. Better than nothing. Uh, let's sell this one for him. Sell these two as well. Just extra money. We're never going to use them. I don't think I've ever used that weapon. Alright, let's see. Claymore. So the Great Axe would be a boost for both of them. Really? I don't know. I kind of like having Barrage. That's not really much of a boost. That's like a boost of five. And we'll keep the Barrage on. We'll give it to him, though, because it's a boost of 13. Um, let's cast Reveal over here. I think this is a lucky uh, emblem, right? Nope, it's a vial. It's a vial, vial. Oh! Let's cast that too. Um, let's see. Give this one to... You. Um, and then let's give one of these to... Wait a second. Okay, yeah, that's, that works. Yep, perfect. All right. Get out of the way. <laughs> she has the healing ring. We're the ones that have the, the, whatchamacallit. I'm looking for the seller, the vendors that have the uh, water of life. Chinese dress. Got chain mail here. That's what, by nine? Sure. I might as well increase, uh, upgrade everybody's little armor pieces, right? So, do I get a, whatchamacallit, every other purchase for armor? Ah, but her agility goes down significantly. I think I keep it the way it is then. I think I prefer her to have that high agility. At least for right now. I feel like plus two was not good enough for me to waste 2,000 gold. That Neither is that. Plus four. Not worth it. Okay, plus 11. This is what, plus uh, 7? Sure, you know what? That's worth it. Especially since they're still, like, she's still wearing a wooden cap. That's like tier 1 stuff. I'm not going to do that to her. Hey, it's everybody that's going to be on the boat. I'm going to be that guy that forces the old man and the ladies to row the, the ship so that we can go to Crossbone. The Lord is away. Please be gone. I didn't 
recognize you. You're so tan. <laughs> well, we were in a hot desert for a while. I was in prison in Lumpa. I some. I did, my screen just popped for a weird reason. Not like blew up, but like it moved. I have no more chocolate left. That makes me sad. They have no intention of letting it go. It's free money. So now they can just say that the ransom money never got to them and demand more. To him. Of course something happened. Well, nothing happened to him, but let's handle this. My lady, this is exactly what the soldiers of Cali are here for. Yes, Lady um, Liana, please let us handle this. Command us to attack and we shall. I cannot do that, not without thinking it over carefully. How can we guarantee him its safety? We send soldiers there to attack. I cannot do it. I cannot uh, put Hammond's life at risk. Can we do something to help? Of course we can. Oh, well, it's about time you started agreeing with me, Isaac. What are you two talking about? Garrett thinks that we can help. It is too dangerous. If you fail, your lives will be in danger, too. Besides, don't you have your own quests um, to pursue? I thought so. I knew there had been a reason why Ivan had stayed with you, instead of returning home uh, directly from Vault. Then what will happen to Lord Hammond? Hammond is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. We shall wait for another message from Lumpa. Lady Le um, Liana, I cannot leave like this. You will. It will be fine, Ivan. Hammond would, um, would not want to distract you from... I apologize. I have said more than I should. It sounds like Hammett knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep it secret no longer. Very well, I should tell you. He swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. A Jupiter Adept? Have you heard of, the, of a village called Vale? What? You are from Vale? Really? Then the prophecy was true. What prophecy? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Alf. Ivan must depart on a journey with warriors from Vale, so it was foretold. I've heard nothing of any such prophecy. 
It happened several years before uh, Hammett found it Kelly, who was off traveling. Hammett felt that he had reached an impasse as merchantman. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the sub, um, southwestern edge of the world, where some adepts appeared and saved his life. He had lost consciousness when, when he awoke, he found himself in their village. Just a moment, am I from that village? Yes, the adept gave him the shaman's rod, and you, along with some doubloons. Doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? Yes, let's see, you are called... I am Mia, Le uh, I am Mia, Lady Liana. It was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. <laughs> business advice? Hammett, the greatest merchant ever known? Yes, Garrett. Hammett has the adepts to thank for his success. Wow, I've never heard anything like that. He was advised to buy silk in Zion and sell it in Toby. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that was when Hammett picked up his nap for business. Ah yes, Ivan. It is something you will need on your journey. Something we need on our journey? The adept asked Hammett to use the shaman's rod to obtain it. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then three years ago, a storm struck one that hit only Mount Elf. Hammett was worried that time was running out. But he had managed to unearth a clue just in time. That, um, that Ivan is why he took you with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea. So that must be why he left the rod in my care. But then... No, Ivan, you mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen. And ultimately... That's why Lord Hammett is being held in Lupa. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You can't blame yourself. But what about, um, what will happen to Hammett? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of Calais! <laughs> continue, continue on your journey. Do not worry about Hammett. I am sorry I cannot tell you more about the Shaman's Rod. No, don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help us find that thing we need for our quest, right? Will you look for it? Of course. If Isaac says he will, we will, then there's nothing to worry about. Very well. Take care of yourselves. Return to your post, everyone. Let's read mine. Is this the right decision? Uh, Hammond, am I making a mistake? Uh, I mean... I'm going to do whatever it is I want to do, regardless of what you say anyway, so... I can't say that you are making a mistake. She was crying again last night. Yeah, we gotta, uh, we gotta save her, her man, so that she can stop crying. Um, I forget. Were we supposed to leave and go straight for the docks first, then come back? Or do I go to the inn and talk to the, uh, people inside the inn? supposed to talk to them first then leave why are we stopping at a place like this yeah we have to hurry or we'll be late for colossal late for colossal we can't have that that won't do at all we pay good money to see colossal we can't be late everything will be just fine folks we're just checking to make sure no one is missing well I guess that's okay but if anyone is missing, we're the ones who will miss out. Forget about them. Let's just get a move on. Oh dear. 
Alright, hurry up and start counting. I love the boat part. The boat tour is like probably my favorite part outside of the uh, Secret of Crossbone. Well, no. It's the boat. The boat tour is my second favorite. The first favorite is the final battle against Satros, uh, Satros and Minardi. Uh, then it's the boat tour. Uh, then it's the Secrets of Crossbone. And that the Secrets of Crossbone is just because I'm a sucker for a good fight. Uh, the final battle between Satros and Minardi is just because they have some of the best music in, in any game that I've heard, in any RPG game that I've heard uh, to date. I'm not saying there aren't other games with good music. I just there's something about that song that just gets me going every time. I just like I'm ready to just jam out like yeah, let's go. There are a lot of people waiting to see Colossal here. Hey, what's up? Why are the guides pacing back and forth? Come on, why aren't we leaving yet? I hear there was a landslide on the road to Toby. We paid good money to take this cruise to Colossal. We have decided um, if we're entering Colossal, um, we have to decide if we're entering Colossal once we reach Toby. Right. When we're leaving, they'll tell us we have to ride a boat. I mean, right when we're leaving, they tell us we have to ride a boat? I can't stand boats. If I had known, I never would have come. This guy is secretly a dragon slayer. That's why he hates boats. It's just a, it's just a shame a man that like you can't ride on a boat, Oranos. That's it. We can't wait any longer. Can't wait? What do you mean? We all knew that anyone who was late would be left behind, right? Everyone understood that. Then what's the problem? We'll miss the boat if we wait any longer. Miss the boat? We can't let that happen. We paid a lot of money. We have to arrive before the carnival starts. There's nothing we can do. Let's go. On the road again. Yes, we're getting back on the road again. We left a guy behind. It was an old man who was probably eating some chips. And he lost his time because he was too focused on those chips. If he wasn't eating those chips, he would have made the boat tour on time. Actually, doesn't he still make the boat, though? I, I, I distinctly remember making the old man row the boat. So I think he still makes it on time. So it's okay. We're fine. Perfectly okay here. What's here? Oh wait, this tunnel's like blocked off though, isn't it? Yeah, they got it blocked off. Do, do, do. Uh, is there anything over here? Probably not, right? I don't think there's any Jenny or anything like over here. And then I think north is just how you get to a uh, vault and the like. So I think we're cool to go straight to the boat. I love Frostbite. Mirage! Berserker Mirage! Not quite the same though, because you know. Can't wait for you to get into the Venus Lighthouse. Yeah, Venus Lighthouse has some good music too. Incredible. So this is the ocean credit was talking about. The cargo is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true ocean is totally open. But this looks just the way Crab described it. Someday I want to see a real ocean, Isaac. A replacement ship? That doesn't sound good. Wait, 
did I need to buy that ticket? I pray to God I was supposed to buy that ticket. Otherwise, I just wasted money and I hate wasting money. Alright, we're on a boat, Jet! We on a boat. We on a boat. We on a boat. Yes, we are. We on a boat. We is on a boat. Ooh, ooh. By far the best soundtrack of this entire series. Are you talking about the airy part or the base of Venus Lighthouse? Because the base of Venus Lighthouse is like, eh, it's okay, but it's not the best. Now, the airy, I could understand people, you know, saying it's the, you know, best soundtrack in the entire series. Even though I would probably still disagree, uh, specifically because that battle theme, uh, With Sato's and Minority is, at least to me, a banger. Even more so than the the airy music uh, for Venus Lighthouse. Um, and then there's uh, the battle music for uh, Lost Age. Just the standard overworld battle music with uh, Felix is, at least in my opinion, like a banger. It's one, it's one, they're one of those songs that even though it can be repetitive, it's not a bad repetitive. Whereas the Venus Lighthouse can be a bit of a repetitive uh, track after a while. Still a very good track though, and I can definitely see it being, you know, people's, you know, top track for the uh, series. Isaac is better than that of Felix. Nah, -uh. no, no, <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Isaac's battle theme is uh. <laughs> At first, when I was playing Golden Sun, I was like, Isaac has a pretty good battle theme, and then I got to experience Felix's battle theme, and I was like, why is this not the theme from the first one? But you want to know whose battle theme beats all of their battle themes? Jenna's. Jenna's battle theme beats all of their battle themes. Straight out. No contest. They all lose to Jenna's battle theme. We secretly love Jenna's theme. Yeah. Jenna's, Jenna's best theme ever. It made me so sad that you only get her theme for that first little section of the game and then it just goes away you never hear from again I was also really sad by the fact that you never got to see Jenna in Dark Dawn uh, even though they constantly say uh, they constantly remind you that Jenna exists and that Jenna is the pro protag uh, mother uh, but you get to see Isaac you don't get to see Jenna and I was like oh man I really wanted to see Jenna I want to see Jenna, I want to see Ivan, I want to see Mia. We had, no, we had not forced to see Garrett. No one wants to look at Garrett. I would have liked to see Garrett's uh, wife though, or, you know, baby mama. If you're willing to, really? I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to, I'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to give that a shot when we start playing the uh, second one. Because if that's how that works, at least half of that playthrough is going to be using Jenna's theme. Alright, so we're just going to circumvent some of the annoying parts by just going up here and dinning the anchor right now. <laughs> no 
Normally you wouldn't know that that's up there, but because I know that it's up there, I'm just gonna circumvent this entire thing and just go right up. And save myself a little bit of pain and suffering in the end. What I'm doing is I'm trying to keep everybody with even amounts of, uh, of items, uh, healing items. So do I just go down to the bottom of the ship? Oh yeah, I have to go talk to, uh, Oranos and, uh, the other guy. I have to go talk to the Red and Blue Rangers. What's real soon? I'm asking how long real soon is going to be. You're wondering when? Well, we're planning to go to see Colossal. You know, my friend Oranos here is scared of ships. Oranos, but he's huge. It's not that I'm scared, I just can't stand water. I'd rather be bitten by poisonous spiders than sail across the sea. Hmm, spiders, huh? And even Oranos is ready to cross the sea right now. Well, if we're not going now, then when are we going to set sail? That's not an easy question. You mean, you wouldn't know even if I asked. We're going, Oranos. Uh, going where? Where else? To the captain's quarters, of course. What do you think you're going to do in the captain's quarters? Make him set sail. What, you gonna threaten to throw him over the ship if he doesn't set sail? Set sail or so God help me, I will throw you off the ship. But then if you do that, you have nobody to help you set sail. Might also be wrong, memory's foggy. Well, can't hurt to try, right? I kind of wish that if you switch the order of the party, uh, whoever isn't the lead of the party is the one you get to control on the overall map. I love this song right here. Oh, they live an ad in 23 seconds. Dungeon theme? Yeah. I thought it was a weird place to put it on the boat, too, but, you know, whatever. Okay, we have an ad in six seconds. Three, two, one. Ad time, everybody. I will see you guys in a minute and 30. I won't do anything until then. But talk. I'll talk to you guys while we wait for, for Adpocalypse to uh, to end. Wait, is it going to do... Oh, there it is. I said, where's the ad going to start? Yeah, once again, I apologize to everybody that's forced to watch the ads. Oh, let me make it a, 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 a note in chat. I shall continue gameplay when it is over. But yeah, I, so I apologize to everybody that's forced to watch the ad. Unfortunately, it's the only way that I can keep pre-roll ads from playing. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what pre-roll ads are, pre-roll ads are usually the ads that start, uh, uh, the ads that you see when you enter a channel. Um, those are usually, those are called pre-roll ads. Um, you usually only see them when you enter a channel. Um, and then sometimes if a, if a streamer's not running ads themselves, you may get a pre-roll ad every hour. And those pre-roll ads are like, uh, ugh. instead of a minute and 30 seconds, they're usually like five minute pre-roll ads. And 
you're just most people just click out of a stream at that point so in an effort to avoid that we are trying to have a minute ad run every 30 or so seconds or 30 or so minutes uh, to avoid uh, pre-rolls and that way I only I that way for like a minute I can just not do any gameplay stuff and no one misses anything right most people hate ass yeah I know I hate them I cannot stand having to jump into a stream and get pre-roll ads and even worse is when I jump into a stream I get pre-roll ads and then right as those pre-roll ads are finished two minutes later I get five more uh, minutes of ads afterwards because the stream is running ads it's like ah. Uh, not the streams run ad, but the, the streams pre-roll ad timer set up has run again, so it's like, dang. I can't. I hate it. It's the worst feeling. I do not understand why Twitch decided to do the ad thing. Um, it is so irritating. And even worse now is that they basically are incentivizing ads. Like, especially with their partners, they're like basically saying, hey, play ads and we'll give you this a lot of money. And so partners are like, they don't want to, but they're like, they, they feel like if they don't, get, they're not doing it to get the money, then, you know, one, they're missing out, two, because they're lowering the amount of money they're paying out to people in terms of uh, the split between partners and whatnot. It's like, well, now they have to play the ads, because otherwise they just don't get paid as much so it, it's it's a weird situation to have been put in by twitch um and honestly like for me if youtube ever starts adding chat functionalities and whatnot like emotes and then and the like outside of like better ttv um, and better ways to, uh, better ways to monetize, not, not monetize, but, uh, better ways to affect streams and whatnot. I think I might actually just switch over to YouTube. Um, but right now I, I believe their chat function is kind of mad compared to Twitch. I think Twitch just has a lot more going for it than YouTube. Um, and so a lot of people are like, despite the fact that Twitch is being very power hungry and uh, money hungry, um, they just can't feel this. They they don't feel like they want to switch because they feel like it'd be harder for them to regrow everything on a different you know platform. Because it's not guaranteed that your follow base, your viewer base, will follow you from Twitch to YouTube. You know, a bunch of people are like, I don't want to watch YouTube streams. I only do it uh, on Twitch kind of stuff. But, I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future, I will move over to YouTube um, and try to work on streaming from there. But as of right now, I don't know. I think I just like being on Twitch at home right now. You guys are still talking, by the way. I've been hitting the button this entire time. Oh, that? What's the big deal? So what if that dad? Oh, that old trinket's gone. What do you mean? Oh, that? The anchor's been keeping my ship safe for years. It's just decorative, right? Even if we find some warriors, we won't make it without that anchor. We're not leaving. But you said we were leaving. That was when I thought we still had the anchor. Why all the fuss over a little trinket? Little trinket? Weren't you listening to what he said? It's not just a decoration, it's a good luck charm. This ship doesn't leave until we find it. What's the problem? We've got some warriors to help us. Maybe we shouldn't have taken it. Hey! Hey you, what are you doing here? You heard the captain, the ship goes nowhere. It's bad for you. I already found where you stashed that trinket, buddy. Alright, 
right, guys. Are you guys ready for the uh, the gauntlet fight? I mean, as soon as they stop talking, that is. They may look young, but each one of them is a force to be reckoned with. You put it that way, sure, why not? I can't argue with that. How about it? You want to join forces with us and help us out on the ship? So you'll help us? That means we just finally set sail. I mean, if I don't help you guys, we'll never leave anywhere. We'll be stuck here forever and the game never progresses, so... <laughs> Are you going to ask the passengers to help roll the ship? The ship won't move without oarsmen, so... <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do that, too. Wait a minute, you're supposed to protect the ship. We'll need to ask the other passengers. These passengers are part of your tour, so why don't you go ask them? This is crazy. We need you to help out, even with the crazy stuff. Well then, let's all go to our stations while we wait for the launch. Come to think of it, I don't know your name. You want to tell me? Ah, Isaac. Well then, Isaac, I'm looking forward to working with you. Well then, Isaac. Well, everybody, let's get this ship um, out to sea. Alright. Let's get this gauntlet started. Our replacement never arrived, but we're shoving off just the same. What about the sea, mon uh, monsters? Who's going to protect the ship? That'll be me, Oranos, and Sheen, or Sean, on deck, and Isaac and company on the bed. Isaac and his friends protecting you down here. Can we really depend on them? Isaac and his friends have seen more combat than even I have, so there's nothing to worry about. If you say so, Kaja, we trust your judgment. And what will you do if any of you become the can I say? We're not sure what happens then. Another passenger will help row the ship. Don't worry about it. I had a word with the passengers. Who will go and give them an order when the time comes? Hmm. Good point. You should select a replacement and bring him here. That's right. Make the kids. Make the kids go and force people to do things that they don't want to do. Put that burden on our shoulders, why don't you? Alright, you guys ready? Preparations ready. Time to set sail. Ship course clear. Alright, cast off. You know what's hilarious? That charm did absolutely diddly. <laughs> that charm did diddly squat. We got attacked what, four times? The best! Monster sighted! Monsters? Alright, Captain, see monsters. Captain, turn the runner heart, um, heart to starboard. Alright, I'm turning. It's no use. It's too late. I like how he was standing. Oh, like, why were you not standing in front of the door to block them from getting in? Like, all he had to do, all they had to do was stand in front of the door and block them from getting in, and we would have been perfectly fine. But no, we can't do that. That sounds like too much work. That sounds like the right thing to do, and that, we don't do that here. We do the wrong thing here. Good. Which means I didn't take the poison damage. Hey, are you okay? Looks like you took care of those sea monsters. We're missing an oarsman. Oh no, he's unconscious. 
looks like the sea monster got one. Um, um, of our rowers. There's no way around it. Isaac, go ask one of the passengers to row, okay? You know, he could have just did it himself. I'm just saying. Alright, uh, we're gonna make him row. <laughs> Rowing, right? Feel free to choose whomever you like. What? Me? You must be joking. Really? Oh, well, this is just too much to handle. try to finish this entire segment before I get off stream. That way when we start next time we can do the Toby segment. Which is going to consist of a cave, a tournament, and then I think we go back to Loompa and save Hammett. Which will consist of a giant throw. Or is it a toad? You know, I'm not really certain. Oh my bad. Next time we'll be cross the beginning half of Crossbone as much as we can, um, and then it will be Tolby, uh, Tolby the Cave Tournament Loompa. Bats. I said rocks. Definitely bats. Dang, somebody already unconscious. time to watch something I could send you a video about different roles of 14 uh... okay I permitted you go for it I can watch it I'll probably watch it off stream though Respect for Final Fantasy XIV. Or is this trying to teach me the, the incorrect way to heal? It's a helpful guide. Okay, I take your word for it. I know where to find you if it, if it messes me up.
So we can, you, you can also do it on a stream? Okay. I'll save it for the next stream then. So part of me kind of wants to watch it with my wife just to see what her reaction is too because she's a big Final Fantasy person. Fourteen was always one of those games she wanted to play but because she's not really big into MMORPGs uh, she never really gets into it. It's one of five videos. Something I've always wanted to do on, on this ch uh, channel for our YouTube and for Twitch was to do reactionary videos. Um, I can never really find a good time to do it though. But eventually I would like to do a reaction uh, type thing uh, on our channel where we react to different videos like Uncle Roger videos and stuff like that. Maybe I'll pick a Saturday where we're not really doing anything and, and do that. I just have people in Discord, uh, people in the Brushy uh, Family Discord, uh, send me a bunch of videos they think are funny, hilarious, or even cringy, and we can just watch and react to them. Fuyo! <laughs> Aya! Everybody likes MSG. Okay, so you know you gotta get the old man now, right? Watch this. This is hilarious. Out of all these people, you're asking a frail old man like me to row? Yep. You'll regret this one when I clap some exhaustion or something. I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna care. <laughs> I should care. But hey, you're going to help me get to Crossbar Island, so you should at least be happy about that. Oh, she must be going for a walk. Alright, so I think the next fight is against the giant uh, Kraken Squid thingy, Walker Digger. See if we can beat it before the next uh, set of ads shows up. I wonder what's wrong. The ship shouldn't be rocking this badly. monster on the ship if we don't do something we'll sink you have to help us let's bag us a sea monster uh, but first let's give her to heal everybody <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious we come out the door only to see Sean get chucked off the <laughs> the top of the ship he just jumps him down Swift winds pay heed. Oh, I didn't put him to sleep. Hope you can get to the stream since you're in Europe. There's a slight gap in time. Gotcha. Yep. That'll do it. Yeah, because I usually, on the weekdays, I usually stream late. It's usually around 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, God, I wish I could stream earlier than that, but a lot of the times I just don't have the extra time to do so because I had, you know, I got, I, cut, I get home from work at like 5. I, after I shower and whatnot, then I have baby duty until about uh, seven, six thirty, seven o'clock when we eat dinner. 
Uh, and then we put the baby to bed around 8, 8.30. Uh, we put the baby around 8, and I clean, while I'm cleaning the kitchen, my wife puts the baby to sleep. Uh, then I have time to stream for a little bit before I have to go to sleep and get up. Uh, I have to go to sleep, or at least be in the bedroom early because the baby may wake up in the middle of the night. Um, and then I do have to go to bed so that I can get up for work in the, the morning again. So it's like, it's a never-ending cycle that I hate. <laughs> I have to go through it, but I hate it so much. I miss the times when I was streaming during COVID because then I could sleep in to like 8, stream at like 10, finish my stream around 2, and then I have the whole afternoon to do whatever the heck I wanted. Flint into Scorch, into Smog, into Drench. Nice, jumped his attack. I was hoping that would paralyze him. Uh, Ivan might die. Did he just heal himself? I didn't know he could do that. You know, as, long, as many times I've played this game, I don't think I've ever seen him heal himself. Doing that, it's so irritating. Oh, well, this is this is going swimmingly. Judgment into meteor. Into Thor. Into Fizz on Ivan. They do be like that sometimes. Nine, that's a lot. Lion Cannon! I like how we just destroyed the world for no reason. But I guess there was a reason we're trying to kill the Kraken, but we literally just destroyed the world for that. 538, nice. I hope this kills him. Otherwise, we're probably going to have like three dead people. I was say because I, I was really about to start wishing that I had never used the Jin, um, uh, the Jenny of uh, on Mia. Thank you, Isaac. You did good against that Kraken. We lost another oarsman, though. I need to go check the hull. Go find someone to row the ship. Stop telling me what to do. Don't tell me you're gonna ask the lady to row. Oh, he startled me, sir. Don't frighten me like that. That poor oarsman, I feel sorry for him. What, you want me to take his place? Yes. How can you ask a young lady to take his place? It's not fair. I have faith in your, uh, your uh, weightlifting techniques. That should be the last of the attacks, though, right? No more getting pwned by monsters um, of the sea. Not that it wasn't fun.
Dang, I don't have a single person on my friends list that's left. Go figure. Lane Hall! Hey, I can see Lane. It's the wrong Lane, though. We're lucky to be alive after all those attacks. Wait, did we not go to Crossbone? Did you ever wander in Lost Age in the original maps? You mean, like, just kind of randomly explore? I still managed to do the right thing by I thought I put the worst people on it the job man we didn't get a crossbow there's a small gate where you can hop off the flying boat then you get into the closed off section huh I don't recall ever seeing that then interesting I'm certain that I probably have. I just, I don't remember. All right, so I think the next thing we're gonna do is get the uh, the Venus Jenny. That's at the other side of Silk Road, and then we'll call it quits for the day. We can hopefully get it before the uh, pre-roll start. Silk Road's above, right? I think I need to go north, not south. The Mad Mole! Alright, the next ad is in uh, 58 seconds. Cash a wish. Wow, you only got. Oh, I got some crystal powder though. Crystal powder is always nice. I still don't see the road part for Silk Road. Oh, it's ad time now. All right, so ad time. 